<laughs> ow, 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 ow. Now, now you're seeing uh, just why, why this animal <laughs> gets its reputation. You get exactly where it sits in the food chain here in the Navi Desert. <laughs> What you're looking at there is a little crocodile. This is a top predator. They will feed on pretty much any small insects so they can stuff into that uh, little head of theirs. This is the shovel-snouted lizard. Well, now he's relaxed a little bit, you can see the architecture of his snout. It is absolutely phenomenal. Quite a bizarre thing, looks almost duck-like. And it's that which allows him to punch his way through the loose sand um, if he needs to get away from a predator or dive out of the way from the heat of the sun. Sandra dynamic nose. And then once it's underneath, it'll then deploy its beautifully fringed digits. Both the front toes and the rear toes are fringed in these elongated scales, which work a little bit like flippers. As you pull your hand forward through the sand, they collapse and make the passage of your finger much easier. And then when you want to push against it, you push back and they splay out, creating a large surface area and then propelling the lizard even further through the sand. This animal is also really good at hanging onto his drink. If there's an excess of water around, like dew, he can store the water in his own special little hindgut sack. It's like his own little water tank that he can carry his supplies around with him. What a beautiful little creature he is. 